Hello Gemini, welcome back to my channel. This is a general reading for the month of uh, March for the remainder of it. I'm using the Kyle Gray's um, Angels and Ancestors and uh, the card out for you. We have Spirit Fox, trust your talents in changing times. I love the card of Spirit Fox because for me, the fox is all about, it's such a clever, animal it's a very fast it's very quick and it's very uh graceful you know it's it's it just it just knows how to land in on his feet and how to create it's a very quick animal it takes really fast actions so you're really trusting yourself right now trusting because you can maneuver you can maneuver you can create you can do whatever you want you think fast on your feet gemini and that is what is happening for you at this time so it's just saying for you to be really alert with what it is that you deserve and what is it that you want to create for yourself during this time, during the changing times. And you're, you're able to do that very quick, very swift energy. So trust, trust, trust that your talents is going to take you whatever it is that you desire. We have the first card out. The first card is the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is about really moving I'm um, using the cat tarot. The cat tarot is a deck that my son had bought for me and I just wanted to um, do readings and I just love this deck. So the three that have come out and I'm just going to go ahead and put these for you. I have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck before I get back. The Ace of Pentacles is new opportunities that are coming here. And as I'm seeing this, you have a lot of new opportunities. Going back to the Six of Swords, the Six of Swords talks about moving from one state of being from the past into another. So leaving, moving on to calmer, more creative, more abundant times. And you're just, stre you know, he's just stretching. It's like he's, I, I love that little cat card because he's just stretching and he's just stretching. He just ready, so ready to move into something else here as he's moving forward. So that's just what this is on the first note here. You're feeling just a little bit of a stretch, a little bit, you know, the claws are still out as I'm looking at this card here. But what it's asking of you is for you right now to recognize that your past, whatever past is behind you and whatever damage has been done, whatever anger that has been done, it's all behind you. Like thinking on your feet, you're moving into better waters to calmer waters so you can stretch and really step into that. Whatever the next phase is, you're allowing it. You're allowing yourself the opportunity to calm down because you need to stretch just so you can go with the flow because what you're moving into right now here is the Ace of Wands, which is brand new sexual or creative, highly charged opportunity. It's the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is our creative passion, is our juices that are flowing. So you're stepping in to actually a high time of creativity. What you're stepping into by leaving the past behind is something that is so much more than what you had experiences. So this is like creative, creative, creative energy here. You're creating out of things, out of thin air, it's almost like. So it's about you allowing yourself to really step into that ambitious, creative power that is within you but also don't allow yourself to become impatient and if this is something that is a sexual energy knowing how to use your sexual energy as well to create that which you desire because when we're stepping in to the queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles she lacks for nothing she's looking at the maze and how she's gotten herself out of things it's the queen the queen of pentacles is here saying hey with her paw in the maze and she's circling within the maze. She's just very supportive. She just understands. This is very intelligent. She's like, just knows how to treat. It's like, okay, so as you seeing the cat, I just want to bring this up. There's a treat in the maze. The cat is going with the paw to get the treat out of that, right? Out of that maze. So what does this say to you? you are so creative and so successful that you can you can find the most abundant things from the places that are even hidden. You can come get things out of sticky situations. So Gemini, for me, this is about great opportunities that are lying ahead for you. Again, there's newness that is here for you. Page of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, 
brand new opportunities, brand new. And I always tell for some people, you know, be careful of pages because pages, you know, can not just be childlike, but they can also represent children. But Ace of Pentacles at the bottom with the Ace of Wands, this is new, stable, creative, fiery, beautiful energy that has come together. This is what I'm gonna leave it with that. Let's see what other messages from the Druid, a card that fell on the floor. So for the first card out, we have um, Herni. So dynamic, wild, and chaotic with the Six of Swords is the first card out. And we'll get to that in just a minute. For the second one, dynamic, wild, and chaotic. So what you're leaving behind, something that was dynamic. Look at that. Ace of Wands, we have the Dove, love, health, and well-being, absolutely, absolutely beautiful. And with the Queen of Pentacles, we have a new start, clearing the ground. Wow, this is absolutely divine. The Crow messages here. At the bottom of the deck, we have Bruce, and it's joining, building, bridges, bringing um, together. So there is... For those of you that are single, there's a coming together of two people or there is a mending of two people, um, mending bridges. For others of you, this in the present moment is really feeling that love and feeling that uh, excitement for a new passionate love that has entered your life. When I'm looking at the Six of Swords and what you have left behind is, is about you really looking at what you're left behind is some chaos that was in your sight. This is about you really, you left behind so you can take a leap of faith into something that is new, into the into the next thing. So with this is what you leave behind is heartbreak. What you're leaving behind are things of the past. So again, it's an unexpected sudden change here that's, that's, that's moving you forward because we have also the six, so an unexpected change forward from the things of the past that you had sensed, you know, that was um, holding you back. Here we come to the five, um, I'm sorry, we come to the dove. Again, very passionate, loving, playful energy is what is coming on here for you. And then when we're really looking at that, so there's new love that is coming on here for you. There's newness. This is feeling whole, feeling good, feeling in love, feeling at peace. The dove is the energy of peace. It's an energy of well-being. It's an energy of companionship. For the future, There's. it's like if you were lonely and depressed of the past, you no longer are now. We're just going to put it that way. And then what we have coming to the future with the 48 here with the crow, with the queen of pentacles, what we're looking at is that there is a new start in finances, a new start in home, a new start in relationship, a message, a message that is coming. So what you're doing is that you're just going to let go of anything old that was holding you back and now you're moving into the future feeling more stable, feeling more grounded, feeling more love, feeling more passion. And here, and you're mending, mending any bridges of the past within this month, stepping into the April month, the card that comes flying out. Look at that. We have crow twice, co-create with spirit. I love this because crow messages, can you see that? We have crow and then we have crow again. So when we're looking at the crow messages as an overall with the fox spirit on the other side, the messages of the crow is about you really looking and co-creating with the spirit. So you're creating a new love. You're creating a new foundation, new growth. This is about raising your own abundant frequency. It's you raising your own vibration and also having gratitude for all that you have experienced. Spirit is co-creating with you right now. What do you want from spirit? Let spirit know what is it that you want to bring in because spirit is listening and is ready to create with you. Until next time, sending you so much love, so much light. Namaste.